Hello Okako, how you folks doing? Welcome back, my name is Armando. In this video I'm going to be talking about oh, one of the all-time great legends of Hawaii. His name is Ledward Kapana. He's a slackeen master. I have his music, I purchased his music. I'll show it to you right now. Let me see if I can get it. Um, and this one is called the um, Ledward Kapana. It's called the Legend. Okay. And and this one here, it has a lot of great songs. And I love the songs. I love the music on this particular one. Okay. I also, uh, his cousin was Dennis Pavao. I purchased this uh, CD. Um, this one has a lot of great music. All the way stands together and a lot of great songs on it too. So anyway, let's talk about Ledward Kaupana, so let's get started. <clears throat> now, Led Kaupana was born on uh, August 25th of 1948. So today uh, he'd be like, uh, this year he'll be 76 years old. And you know, this, these guys, these legends, you gotta, if you get an opportunity to listen to their music and, and see them perform, go for it, because they're not going to be around forever, and he's one of the great uh, musicians around from Hawaii, and uh, I highly recommend uh, going out to see him. Now, Lebra Kaupana is a Hawaiian musician best known for playing in the slack key guitar style. In 2011, he received a National Heritage Fellowship and that's the United States government's highest honor in the folk and traditional arts. He also plays steel guitar, ukulele, auto harp, and bass guitar, and is a baritone and falsetto vocalist. He received the Nahoku Hanahanu Awards from the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts, or HARA, and has been nominated for Grammy Awards. Okay? Now, born, like I said, uh, he was born on August 25th, 1948. Led grew up in a musical family living in the small Black Sand Bay village of Kalapana, which was mostly destroyed by the 1986 volcanic eruption of Kilauea. He used to have the Black Sand Beach around there. If you can folks remember where he states there were few distractions. We didn't have electricity. This is what him said he, we, we didn't have electricity or television or uh, not even radio so we entertain ourselves you could go to any house and everybody was playing music at 14 he began performing and professionally with his mother Tina and his uncle the rare recorded slacky master Fred Punahua well, I would have loved to have been around that area during that time Let's talk about his early life and his professional career. His professional breakthrough came a few years later when he was a part of the Hui Ohana, which means family group, with his twin brother, Nedward Kapana, and his cousin, falsetto great Dennis Pavao. I love his music too. Hui Ohana released 14 albums each of which was a commercial and critical success. Kalpana left the group eventually and then released six albums as the leader of another two trio, Ikona, and performed with the Painui brothers, Enti Genoa Keave, David Chun, Barney Isaacs, and Uncle Joe Keave. Okay, now talk more about him. He, he, his first solo album, Lima Bella, which means Hot Hands, was released in 1983. And the album won the Nahoku Hanohano, which me and Hanohano means Honored Stars, award for Instrumental Album of the Year in 1984. He released Simply Slack Key in 1988. And, uh, and led live in 1994 on Dancing Cat Records. 
He has performed and recorded with acoustic lap steel player Bob Brosman and released several more albums on the Dancing Cat label from the late 1990s onward. One of the greatest living slack key masters, Ledward has deep roots in the older styles, using only index finger and thumb to picks to combine traditional music phrases, some modern influences, and spontaneous improv improvisation to create beautiful multi-part arrangements that are simultaneously old and new. Okay, so now Nashville great Chet Atkins was so impressed by Ledward's playing that he paid him the ultimate country music compliment by giving Ledward his guitar. Ledward has played at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. and made many tours of North America. His fans frequently refer to themselves as Leadheads. Okay, that's funny, Leadheads. Kaupana spells his name without using the modern Okina marking that is used to indicate a glottal stop for the proper pronunciation of certain Hawaiian words. Ka'apanos has said that his family has always spelled it without an okina and he prefers a dish, traditional spelling, not Ka'apana. Okay, now let's talk about some of the quotes that he made. Everything you play, this is, you know, this is Led talking about, uh, he's given a quote. Everything you play, every time you play, there is a mood and energy. If you plug into it, the music just flows. Even in a simple song, there are so many different ways to play the melody, the rhythm, the harmony. harmony. It never stops if you stay open to it. Let's talk about the awards, okay? He is one of the very few Hawaiian recording artists who has received Nohoku Hanohano Awards from the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts, or HARA, for work as a member of three different recording entities, as a solo artist, as a member of Ledward Ka'apana and Ikona, and as a member of Hui Ohana. As of 2010, Four of his solo albums have received Grammy Award nominations in the Best Hawaiian Music Album category. Okay, so he's, got, he's accomplished a lot in his lifetime. Ka'apana is a recipient of the 2011 National Heritage Fellowship awarded by the National Endowment for the Arts which is the United States government's highest honor in the folk and traditional arts. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the story behind him. Now I'm going to let you listen to the rest of his music, his beautiful music. And like I said, if you ever get a chance to see this guy perform, go for it. I'm definitely going to see him again if I get a chance, where, wherever and whenever. I get a chance because he is a legend and he's one of the best to come out of Hawaii well folks I hope you enjoyed this uh, video mahalo for watching and ahui ho
Hey.